Yes, hello everybody. I'm Dr. Hartman from Westwood Mansfield Pediatrics. And what I'm about to say is strictly opinion of myself at Westwood Mansfield Pediatrics. If there's any advice I'm giving, it may differ from the pediatrician that you have um, in another practice, and I would follow the advice of that pediatrician as well. The topic I want to discuss right now is empowering your children um, in times of natural or man-made disasters that they hear about in the news. Over the years, I've seen children feel disempowered about what's going on in the world when they hear about natural disasters. And they feel so powerless over what they can do in situations like this. I'm somebody that grew up in New Orleans and I've been going to Haiti since 2003. So I've seen a lot about natural disasters and I talk to children from time to time about this. Um, and I think it's very important for us to realize that during this time, especially your school age kids, this is a time of where, when their conscience and morals are developing, and these are the times that you can make suggestions to them and help empower them so they're not so anxious, because anxiety in children, I feel, has gone up significantly because of all the information being thrown at them. September 11th, the tsunami in Indonesia, Katrina. Um, occurring and then the oil disaster down in Louisiana and these things have really saddened me but they've also emboldened me to do more I grew up in New Orleans I worked on an oil rig out in the Gulf near where this disaster is happening as this time 2010 um, I've been going to Haiti um, and I was there five days after the earthquake um, helping out in the clinic that I was in and going down to Port-au-Prince and helping bringing refugees up to the clinic to feed and house. And while these things are not something that may be in the realm of what you can do with your children, there are many, many things you can do locally for people locally as well. Examples. Churches and synagogues have many things going on. My church, for example, has the Common Cathedral where you go and you feed the homeless and share a service right on the commons at, in uh, Boston with them at 1 o'clock every Sunday. And if you're Episcopalian, that's what you can do as well. Um, you can do things for the environment. You can fundraise for various organizations. But you should set the example for your children as well. My daughter has been inspired to start a camp to raise money for our clinic in Haiti. And that's been a very important part of her life and ultimately probably helped her get into the college of her choice that she wanted to do because she learned a lot about business sense and she also learned about a lot about giving as well. She's learning Creole right now and I'm very proud of her uh, because of all the efforts of caring that she's reaching out to, to help. And eventually, I think it's important for all of us to look into food pantries in our, our neighborhoods what we can do to help at the food pantries and things like this. And it reaches locally, regionally, and nationally. And this can be things like improving recycling in the home, reducing energy, our use of energy as well. Because whether we like it or not, things like the disaster that happened in the Gulf Coast is partly an issue of us demanding the needs for the energy that we demand uh, and have to take a look at what we can do to improve the environment for other people. You know, one proverb that I understood from a Native American group one time was, I want to leave this earth with as little a mark as I can on it. And that is key when people talk about the environmental issues. So take some time to really think about how you can share with your children, how you can re reach out with kindness and caring to the environment, to the animals, to people and to be able to stretch yourself a little bit more beyond the confines of your neighborhoods and be able to do something for other people as well. Because we as Americans can be very generous if we make the effort as well. And by doing that, our children don't seem to feel so powerless and I really think it would reduce a lot of the anxiety we see in our children. And in fact, maybe even in ourselves. Thank you. 
is Westwood Mansfield Pediatrics, proactive in your child's care, empowering families for over 50 years. Have a good day.